all right so welcome back everyone in this video we are going to learn about dns reconnaissance listen dns reconnaissance is a part of information gathering when it comes to the penetration testing all right and penetration tester basically make use of this to obtain information regarding the dns servers and their different records as well right so without taking much time let's get into the lab all right so the first thing is we are going to do a couple of uh, activity here first we'll talk about the zone transfer see uh, before we do that uh, you should understand why how we can you make use of zone transfer to know information about dns right i believe all of you know about the purpose of dns because without dns we can't really access the internet at least with the name right so internet is dns is all about a big 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 phone book that maintains the mapping of your website with the corresponding ip address why ip address because computer network router switches firewall everything cannot understand the name name is for humans ip addresses for the computer the technology all right so when we talk about zone transfer in this case of reconnaissance uh, zone transfer was basically made for the administration purpose to whenever somebody let's say want to transfer the whole lot of dns records from one zone or from one server to the another they simply make use of zone transfer and get the all the records for it right so this is more of a system admin related work where somebody want maybe somebody want to replicate uh you know dns information from one server to another server they just make a query and get all the information for example let me show you how you can do that so for this there is a tool called dns recon and uh, you can get the some of the earlier query as well so dns recon is the tool that we are going to make use of you can type dns recon and after that you have to specify a domain for this you can make use of minus d and then you can specify any domain for example if i go for cnn or maybe abc.com or any any website you think of you can just type enter and you get all the records for these for for cnn.com there is a name server for uh, cnn.com and these are all the name servers you might get different pointers as pointer records as well and this would be really helpful for us to understand you know uh, what are the dmark uh, dmark point spf records information uh, pointer records as well okay so this is uh, this is how we can get all the information about any specific domain related to all the domains that are available uh, of course except the subdomain and everything you get the different records available on the internet right next let's talk about the reverse lookup now the, we per, uh, perform or we need to have reverse lookup for perform you know uh, let me put it in this way basically reverse lookup is used by the software or the mail server most of the time to verify the real sender okay there are you know all the all the situation when the actual phishing attack email phishing attack works is somebody probably spoof someone else's email address and you know they they try to perform some uh, criminal activity but uh, because of reverse lookup because of some techniques under the reverse lookup called pointer records because of pointer records you know uh, it is called ptr records or pointer records records uh, you know the the destination mail server perform a reverse lookup to understand if this name belongs to a specific ip address or not if this name is blacklisted that means it's a spoofed mail server okay so that's the one way let's verify it. to do that you again make use of the recon uh, dns recon and um, then you have to specify the type of query that you want to perform so i'll type minus r and then you just need to pick some ip address that you want to make a query for so i can take any ip address range so you can see these are the ip address I can make use of a single IP address or maybe a range of it. So I can even go for this one as well. Uh, maybe anyone you can you wish for. Maybe let's say I pick this one. Usually this is used for the MX record. So you can even use this one as well. And um, let's paste it here. Let's paste it here. I'm sorry. Mm -hmm. 
that's my bad okay sorry about that uh, I forgot to copy it I believe uh, give me one quick second uh, oh yeah here it is now we can do one thing we can just type DNS recon minus R and then we can simply paste the selection right and over here what you can do is you can even specify the entire range maybe 205 to 22017 because maybe the name might be having multiple IP addresses hosted into it so you can even go to 200 in spite of just one single IP address hit enter and you would get the information about the return I mean in fact about the pointer records right so we probably have to wait for uh, a couple of more seconds okay and uh, it should give us the results uh, because there are multiple IP addresses involved uh, it might take more time as well yep perfect so you can see these are all the pointer records available and these are all you can see some of the IP addresses are not available because they are not really in use or might be for some other purpose but these are something which are being used uh, you know and we can get the idea if these are really exist okay so these are used for some of the very genuine reason to verify if the receiver email address is valid or not okay so finally let's work on brute forcing the domain or host what does it mean um, what I mean by that is basically I can try to get a subdomain right if I have let's say any specific website maybe CNN Twitter uh, if I want to know about you know what are the subdomain well first of all remember that the finding out or brute forcing the subdomain is one of the very very popular trick when you do the uh, you know bug bounty hunting you know whenever you do the bug bounty this is what people actually start with so uh, usually you know there are some uh, subdomain like analytics like Splunk uh the these subdomains usually are made for developer and these are not really that protected and that's where you know the bug bounty hunter can start their uh you know uh, enumeration with so that's what they do it so uh subdomain finding is also very critical from the ethical hacking or penetration testing point of view okay and that's where the cyber security need to be uh implemented on a larger scale right let's say if you want to perform brute force what do you need basically you need a dictionary you need a list of uh, all possible uh, names that could be a subdomain right so you need to create those text file first so usually we have a practice of storing those into the sorry user share uh, word list and once you go there you will find you can store all the word list over here so you can see some of them are already present dr buster uh, which we have used in our earlier cases as well and map list as well this is what something i prepared just now so you know you can create one by nano and um, you know you can view that as well so uh, let's say i viewed this so this is what i just prepared you can see these are some of recently some of the domain that i just prepared so you can just come out and um, yep so in order to perform the brute force against this dictionary list you have to again make use of dns recon dns recon and then do the uh, specify the domain then you type the example maybe for example okay for example example.com okay and then you can specify minus d and then you specify your word list so it's going to be user share word list and uh, what's the name of a dns list right so mom the moment you hit enter it's going to give you all possible results if the domain exists if the subdomain exists you get the result okay so you know uh, you can hit enter you can see the result coming in as of now we haven't got any records so that means those domain subdomains are not available uh, so this is how we can find the uh, subdomain and perform the brute force to find any possible host or subdomain into the network. Uh, now the question is, uh, do we only have this tool available for uh, performing DNS reconnaissance? Well, not. There are a couple of more tools as well, like Recon, NG, and there are some online tools available as well that you can make use of. Okay, this is one of the tool that you know many of my students ask for so i prepared this for 
to for everyone to look at it and uh, you know get a practice into it as well right uh, before we go, I just wanted to tell you if you really want to brush up your cybersecurity skill and want you're really serious about taking your career ahead, I have prepared a completely free course, a com free, completely free masterclass wherein you will understand about penetration testing a bit and uh, you know you will also understand uh, uh, in detail about practically doing the security testing web application security testing by using bob suite you will be making use of nessus and map sim these are the content which was present and map bob suite you will also understand cyber threats from you know security professional point of view and one of the very very important thing is this i'll also be share i'm also sharing a five steps to kickstart your cyber security career wherein I'll cover all the key important points which I learned throughout my uh, you know 10 years of experience so this is something that you can go with and you know um, there are a couple of more modules which has been recently added so you should see that as well it's completely free so that you can look at it you should uh, you know you can you can practice it across and I would love to hear your feedback about it so thank you so much